Um, I have another question to ask you. What's Brad Pitt like? <laughs> you guys are homies? He is... <laughs> I know, dude. I, I've never met him, and I'm doing this like... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Love, 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 love. Can I tell you the truth? He's a lot like you. What do you mean? He has... Um, he, he walks in the room, and everybody's like, no. Yeah. Like, and they get like, and then he disarms everybody. Yeah. But in a, in a pretty like, not in a big way, just in a very. His own way. His own way. Yeah. He has his own way of doing well, it. Well, I know he's a comedy fan because. He loves. He loves comedy. Stand up. Yeah. Yes. He loves He's also, um, I have to say this, he did a Coen Brothers movie. It's called. Um, Burn After Reading. Burn After Reading. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, I, and my brother and I still think it's the one of the greatest comedy performances in 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 movies. Is he the thing a trainer? is, yeah, he's, he's, he plays like he yeah, works at like a trainer, right. fitness yeah. place. You know what I mean? That's the thing about him is like you know his, he's been the uh, the like just the center of attention. Oh yeah, I can and imagine for for so long, and it's always been like kind of a looks first thing. Everyone's just like this guy's gorgeous. Mm. Dude is fucking. Unreal actor, like he is a tremendous yeah. actor. Oh, dude, I I think he's in my top three. I mean, yeah. he when I saw him in even in Seven when he was younger, right? There were some choices he made in that movie that was like, oh, that was a cool choice. You know, what I told him, what? I told him, that I was like, I remember, like I vividly remember. For me, it was uh, seventh grade. Yeah, and he had become like the it guy, right? Magazines and mm. every girl was like Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt. And my sister was like, we, you know, we love going to the movies and like, let's go to the movies. And I was like, okay, where are we going to go see? And he's like, this new Brad Pitt. And I was like, I don't want to see that fucking guy. Yeah. Like, I don't care whether you're going to finger yourself in the theater. <laughs> that shit. Tristan, <laughs> Legends and, of the Fall. <laughs> and that's, that was it. That was it, right? That was it. Yeah. And it, like, it was the long hair. And I was yeah. like, this shit is so gay. I don't want to see this shit. Yeah. And I went in and I sat next to her and the movie starts and I'm watching it. And then at like, some point during like the third act, she looks over at me and she goes, are you crying? And I was like, no, you fucking bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was. Is it the scene where he has to pull Samuel out of the barbed wire? And he's like, Samuel. It was. I think it was when his, he, that he had found out that his brother had died. Yeah, was he, he, he was, they went to war with Samuel. And then Samuel, like some smoke went off. And then Samuel got stuck in the barbed wire. Yeah. And he had to. Pull his brother out. Yeah, of that. thanks. I've never seen the movie. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was also the first time I'd cried in a movie. That was a really sad you know? scene. Yeah. That had an imprint that imprinted yeah. on me too. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, yeah. So that's when I started to think you were a pretty good actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But so when you first met her, you weren't nervous or? Yeah, yeah. We were all nervous. So what, would be- would, what would your opening line be? I, 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 honestly, like, I'll be honest with you. It's like, I don't know if I could ever meet him. There's just certain, you think that? No, I'm for sure. There's like there's like ten people in life I don't ever want to meet. I'll tell you one. Tell me. And this is why I did this. I was shooting the dictator in New York. I've talked about this before, and I was staying at the Soho, you know, Trump Hotel in Soho. I guess. Big flex. Go ahead. <laughs> why well, did I tell you where it is? Okay. Okay. Right. So um, <laughs> so I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm a huge soccer fan. I didn't know that that you were a huge soccer. Oh, fan. I'm obsessed with. I've always been obsessed with Arsenal FC. Arsenal's your squad. Yeah, really? I know everything about the team and um, the history of it. I love. Really? It. Oh yeah, I watch every game, and um, and I I was. Have you gone? You've gone to a game there? No, 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 I haven't. This is insanity. You're insane. Anyway, what the fuck are you? Have you not gone to? A game? I don't want to go. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing of why I'm about to tell you what I'm about to okay, tell you. Okay, right? okay. See, for me, it's like it's a fantasy. Life is a fantasy. Yeah. There we go. Right. And um, I was in the elevator. This is like pornography. <gasps> pornography is a fantasy. Yeah, they're two yeah. different fantasies. Though. No, different no, fantasies. but that's the thing. I guess you're right. It's a, it's a, the reality of that situation is not the same as the fantasy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I'm in the elevator, and it's about to close, and I see a black hand stick through. Ooh. What? Can I that guess racist? who? Can I guess who? Then the elevator is open back up. Yeah, who? Henri. Yes. <gasps> I never told you the story. No. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, you, really? I think I've, I, I've, talked, I've talked, they talked about it other places. Thierre. What? Yeah. Thierre. 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 Yeah. So he walks <laughs> in, and I've never been like this. I shut down. Mm-hmm. 
like I my all the moisture from my mouth and my neck disappear, and I want to say things. But then also, like, I want to be cool, too. Sure. So those things, two things are conflicting. That's high pressure in an elevator, I think. That's it's also, you know, the big thing is here, there's the element of surprise. That's right. Yeah. I had no yeah. idea yeah. I would run in. Like, like, thank for, you. For my Brad meeting, two days before, they're like, I think Brad's coming. The day before, they're like, I think Brad's probably coming. The day of, they go, the security checked it out. Brad is coming. Ten more minutes, he'll be here. He parked. He's being, like, you know what I mean? So you have the... Okay, okay. Like the but anticipation. Are you practicing? Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I like, <laughs> yeah, yeah so, what do you say? What do you say? So I'm in the I'm in the green room at the at the Wiltern. Yeah. And so like should I be sitting? Should I be standing? Wow, wow, wow. Pacing. Wow. There's a Laker game on, I remember that, and then there's music. And then I'm just like, should I be over here? Should I be over there? <laughs> and then I'm just going like, it's not like, not like, <laughs> like I'm Practicing hellos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. So and then when he walked in, he was. Uh, I was like, "Oh, hey, what's up, man?" I did like a, a totally normal "What's up?" And he yeah. was like, and then you know, he introduces himself, which is always funny with a very famous person. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, hey, Brad. And I was like, yeah, I know. So, <laughs> yeah. But then he, you know, shake hands, and then he's like, "Oh, he was like, this is what you do like before a show. You just like watch a game and listen to music." And I go, "Yeah." He's yeah. like, you don't need to like practice. And I was like, no. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been on tour for fucking twenty months. Yeah, I, I know how it goes. Yeah, yeah. And then he was just like, he just hung out. He was just very normal, hung out. And so what I'm saying, yeah, I had the pre-meeting anxiety. I think knowing that it's happening is different than a surprise. Yeah. And then the very famous person, it's almost on them to disarm everybody else, mm. right? Like Joey Diaz told me the story of when he did a movie with De Niro. And like you know, you know he's going to be in the scene, and then you're like seated, and and, and he's a, he's actually seated in it. And when they're like blocking the scene, you know, De Niro walks in and he goes, he goes, I just looked up at him, and he goes, I just kind of was like, and De Niro was like talking to somebody else, put his hand on Joey's uh, shoulder, you're gonna, and, make, you're gonna make me cry. And he goes, he goes, it's okay, it's okay, Aww. like that, like told him, like, it's okay. Like, I know what you're doing right now, and it's okay. And then he was like, <sighs> and then they da 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 and then he was able to get through. But he goes, at first, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, fucking staring at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Joe, I, I remember, like, when Sebastian told me that when he did that Scorsese movie, after the scene, Joe Pitchy goes, come to my, come to my trailer, I'll have dinner. Right? And then Sebastian's like, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's like a chef in there in, in a trailer making him dinner. Those magical moments. And yeah. like, so, and Joe's like, was so like generous and yeah. kind. 